Hey guys, so um, it's 2011 and I decided that in 2011 I'm going to do monthly favorites. I know everyone does this video, but it seems like a fun video to do. So yeah, I'm just going to do it and hopefully I can keep it up every month. So here are my January favorites. So the I'm going to do sort of, I guess, in categories. The first is like skincare. So um, I ran out of my face scrub. I was using the St. Ives one. So I got the no eczema um clean blemish control daily scrub and i do have eczema it's pretty light though like um i take care of it pretty <laughs> religiously so you probably wouldn't even notice but yeah so i got the scrub and it's supposed to be like for eczema skin and i do get breakouts once in a while but since i've used this you guys can probably tell i only have like one right here and that was from you know that time in the month <laughs> you can't really prevent that so yeah, I really like this. It's not drying. It smells a little weird though. I'm gonna admit that. It smells like kind of medicinal, but that's okay. I also have the foaming face wash version of this, but my brother uses that more than I do. Secondly, I really wanted a moisturizer without SPF because <clears throat> when you wear a moisturizer with SPF and it, you don't go out into the sun, so it's not like used up or something, it's kind of bad for skin. I'm not really sure. You guys can research that if you want, but I just wanted something without SPF. So I got the Garnier Nutritionese Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. So this is what it looks like. I've probably used about, <clears throat> you're just looking at that side, but it's kind of like slanted. The product is slanted. It smells really good. It's really refreshing and cooling. Um, it's not super, super moisturizing. I'd say this is really good for like normal skin. I used to have dry skin, but now I'm mostly normal with a little bit. It's like normal, slightly leaning to the dry side. So this is pretty good. But if you have, uh, I don't know what this would do on oily skin, but if you have dry skin, uh, this definitely would not be moisturizing enough. Um, the next thing is this uh, Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protectant. This is the Gloss Finish Flat Iron Balm, but I'm sure this would work for like any type of heat protection, like blow drying, uh, hair curler, and all that. So I know everyone uses the Tresemme one, but the Trust Me one has propylene glycol in it, which irritates my skin. Yeah, I know, my skin has so many problems, right? <laughs> but um, I've done like allergy testing at the dermatologist and it's been proven that I'm allergic to that. So, you know, I read the ingredients and this didn't have that, so I got it. And it actually smells really good. Let me try to describe what it smells like. It's like kind of fruity-ish. <laughs> but I like it and um, yeah, I like it and if is protecting my hair and that's good since I'm growing my hair out and yeah um the next thing is this pink with a splash the sweet and flirty one I know they have like pink with a splash like blow comfy and whatever but I like this one the purple one and this one is really fruity <laughs> I really like it um this is just the travel size one from Victoria's Secret Dylan actually got me this so thank you Dylan I know you're gonna watch this <laughs> Or, yeah. The next thing is this Rapid Lash. Can you hear my parents laughing outside? They're watching like some Vietnamese like New Year's thing. I don't really know. The Rapid Lash um, Eyelash Enhancing Serum. And I really like long lashes, but this isn't like a lead lash, which makes your lashes grow. It's more of a like conditioning your lashes so that... How long have I been talking? Okay, four minutes and a half-ish. Um... It conditions your lashes so they can grow longer without falling out. So it like kind of keeps your lashes in longer. So like they are longer. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like uh, they make sure your lashes don't fall out before they get long. Yeah, so it's not making your lashes grow. It's just conditioning them. I like that. Yeah, it works <laughs> for me at least. The next thing is this nail polish. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's called a Minted number 85 from Revlon. And it's just like a cream mint color. And I actually have the MAC uh, Peppermint Patty from like two, almost two years ago. And this is a little bit darker. And I don't know why, but I just don't like this MAC one on my skin tone. And to be honest, I really don't like MAC nail polishes. At least the ones that I've tried. Like, they're very streaky and hard to work with. And so... I really like this one and this is like four dollars and the other one's like 12 or something I don't remember 
moving on. Lip stuff. Um, I really like this Bath and Body Works C.O. Bigelow Lychee, Lychee, whichever one you guys want to say. Um, Mantha Lip Shine. And it's like minty with a lychee, lychee flavor. It's just clear, but it's really, really moisturizing. And I really like the minty, cooling tingle it leaves. So I really like that. I have this in other flavors too, but I don't know. This month I just used this. I just grabbed for it. My next lip product that I really like was the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss. I have two of the lipsticks that I've had for a while, but I think the lip glosses are new. I really like the quilted packaging up here. And this is like a peachy, shimmery, golden, orangish color. And this is number 022 Sunset Peach. I really like this color. And it's pretty pigmented. And the applicator is like, it's not like a slanted doe foot, it's just like a straight doe foot. It doesn't really smell like much. But yeah, I really like that this month. Okay, blush. My favorite blush is the Candid, the Coral Blush from um, Love and Beauty from Forever 21. I believe this is, I feel like they take the e.l.f. studio line stuff because it says Candid Coral on the back and that's what it's called on the e.l.f. Um, website thing. But yeah, I'll explain that in another video I guess if someone asks. But yeah, basically I really like this blush and it was only 280 which is 20 cents cheaper than the e.l.f. website. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this lighting's really washing everything out. Maybe I should take pictures at the end. I will take pictures at the end. But yeah, it, I think this could be a dupe for, um, Nars' Orgasm. You can't even see that. <clears throat> it's like a peachy pink with golden shimmer. But, um, it's definitely not as pigmented as the Nars one. But I don't really mind. Um, lastly is this one eyeshadow from my Glamour to Go palette. This color right there. I don't think it has, it doesn't have a name, but it's like a brownish, taupeish color. And I've just been using that like all over the lid. I will take pictures at the end. The next thing I really liked is this brush, also from Love and Beauty from Forever 21. It's just like a blending brush. It was really cheap and it's really soft and I washed it a couple times, it hasn't shed. It's nice for just like, um, putting on one wash of color. Last two things I like, okay, I gotta wrap this up, is the Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeliner. Okay, no offense, but how is my eyeliner gonna be nourishing? Whatever. <laughs> and it's this brown color. And it's like a metallic dark brown. I like that it's like metallic-y, bronzy-ish. As for black eyeliner, I really like. This month I got, I ran out of my Revlon Color Stay black eyeliner, so I got the Maybelline eye studio black cream liner it comes with this brush it's okay the brush is okay but i really like it. it's really creamy and yeah also if you guys didn't notice which you probably didn't i got my ears pierced finally and i've been in love with studs do you see this box how thick that is it's completely full <laughs> these are all studs i also have like other earrings like uh bigger earrings and such but right now i'm just in love with studs so this month for jewelry, I'm in love with studs. And also for clothing, I'm in love with leggings. They're so comfy. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, on cold days, I wear them under my jeans. And on slightly not colder days, I wear them not under my jeans, just as leggings. But yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I love to see your favorites if you would post them as video responses. and Or you can just leave a comment and tell me like what your favorite item this month was or whatever. Or if you want a review of anything or... Yeah, I'm just talking too much now. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. <clears throat> Anyways, my next lip product... Ooh.